Succulent BU here. So in today's video, I want to talk about a soil mixture for succulents. Parents who are just new to the hobby, and I also want to talk about what do you, how do you repot the plant, or what do you do when you've bought a plant from the from the store. So first off, I want to talk about the soil. So um, an ideal mixture would be one part granite, one part uh, perlite or pumice, and then of course one part sand, and then of course your uh, organic matter or worm casting. You could also add some coconut cores in there um, or some spathicnema. I'm not pronouncing it right, but those those moss looking thing, and then it should give you like the ideal mixture. However, with my experience throughout the year and then due to the seconds that I have and my watering schedule, my mixture is a little bit different. So um, where I live during the win fall to the uh, winter, it's it rains a lot here and there. Um, so I don't really need to water my succulent a lot, but during the spring to in to the summer, it's really really hot, and because of and because of the experience I've learned now, if I have an in completely almost just drainage uh, matter and no soil, like just a little bit, these are gonna cook my succulent root roots, and my succulents are gonna die. So now I have um. Now I have mixed more organic matter into my mixed soil mixture and they're doing a lot better. So this is why my mixture looks a little bit more uh, dark or has more organic matter in it. So let's go ahead and mix it. Now, before I even pot the succulent in there, I'd like to water my soil just to get it a little bit damp so the uh, soil dust doesn't fly everywhere. I'm not going to make it super wet, just damp. So that is a pretty good mixture. It's damp, it's not super wet as you can tell. So what I'm going to be repotting today is an Echeveria Arctic Ice that I got from Walmart. So when you get a plant from the store, I usually pull it out and check the state of the soil that, that it's in. If it's super dry like this one, I tend to take it, I tend to take all the uh, soil off and I take also the dead leaves because they just promote uh, infestation and rotting. Don't be afraid to tear some off the root. Actually, sometimes when you um, cut the second roots off, this oat root, it actually promotes healthy roots to come out. You do want to leave just a couple uh, so that it can start drinking water too, though. Now after that, so to choose the right pot size, I usually measure like about half an inch away from the plant all around it. It'll, grow, it'll get the plant some room to grow and succulent like some, most of them are kind of like slow grow unless they're like they crave a lot of offset, then you'll want like a bigger pot for it. So but today I'm just going to use, uh, what size is this? Hmm. It doesn't tell me. But I would say at least about four or five inches. I 
I usually like just rock it like that so I can get the soil to even out. Notice that I don't really press into the soil because it leaves the soil to be loose and it's easier for all the for it all the water to access through the soil and it's easier for your second end to get water too. And then measuring the roots, I just dig a little hole. Try to put it all in there. And when you're done, kind of just pound it like that. Not pound, but maybe shake. It'll move the soil around the roots that you just made a hole so it's not an empty air in there. And you are done. Look at that, so beautiful. Now, the other one I want to talk about when you're potting uh, succulents too, if this is a rescue plant that I just bought. If it's super wet like this one, it's so wet. Take all of the soil. Look, it's so it's drenched. Take as much as the uh, the wet soil off of it. Now, I don't have a pot for this uh, this guy yet, so I will probably leave them onto the side until I can find a pot. But like I said before, if it's really dry, you uh, you just take all the dirt same process. And because I only damp this, it's not super wet, it's, so it'll be okay to put the succulent in there. And usually when there's drench in, like, in the wet soil like that, you probably don't want to water them for a couple of days. All right. Well, I hope that helps a lot. And uh, remember, make your own uh, soil mixture for your succulents. Take into consideration, one, the weather, two, what type of succulents you have, three, where are you placing your succulents, and four, the temperature. And uh, five, how often do you water your succulents? So take all those in consideration when making your soil mixture. Anyways, thank you for watching. Bye.